Hi guys, uh, welcome to Sipnaya. In this video, ang gagawin natin is to um, solve another problem. No? Ay, tutuloy natin yung series on uh, uh, Venn diagrams. No? So, basahin natin. There are, seven, uh, there are 37 students in a class. Among them, 17 are enrolled in French. Uh, 23 are enrolled in Korean. 14 are enrolled in Japanese. No? 6 are enrolled in all three subjects. Uh, three are enrolled in Korean and French but not enrolled in Japanese. Five are enrolled in Korean and Japanese but not enrolled in French. And four are not enrolled in any of the three subjects. So, yun basahin yun na lang yung tanong, no? Um, you can read the, the question silently. We will answer the questions later, no? Once we have uh, placed the numbers doon sa ating Venn diagram. So, tignan natin yung Venn diagram natin. So, gumawa na akong in advance no, para makatipid sa time. So, ito yung ating French, ito yung ating Japanese, at saka ito yung ating Korean, yung ating uh, circles. No? Okay, so kung maalala nyo sa previous videos, uh, sabi ko sa inyo mas maganda kung magsimula kayo sa gitna. So, kung merong intersection yung tatlo, no, if there are students who are taking all the three subjects, mas maganda kung malagay nyo na kagad dito. No? So, we have... Uh, Meron ba tayo niyan? Hanapin nyo nga, humahanap nyo. So ito, no? Six are enrolled in the, in all the three subjects. No? So yun nalagay natin sa gitna, no? Uh, Siyempre, enrolled sila sa Japanese, sa French, tsaka sa, sa Korean. No? What else? Ano pa madaling ilagay? Ito, number, yung last bullet natin. Are not enrolled in any of the three subjects. So, not enrolled in any of the three subjects, meaning, wala siya dito sa loob ng tatlong circles na to. So, how many of them? Four. So, yun nasa labas. Nasa labas siya kasi hindi siya enrolled dun sa tatlong subjects. Now, sabi ko sa inyo, pag nakita nyo na yun nasa loob, no? at saka ito nasa labas, pag nalagay nyo na, palabas tayo, no? So, ito, ito, tapos ito, tapos saka tayo lalabas, no? So, we have, uh, Hindi muna tayo dito kasi nasa pinaka-total na to. So, dito muna tayo. Five and enro are enrolled in Korean and Japanese, but not French. Korean and Japanese, but not French. Korean and Japanese. So, ito yon yung part na to. But not French. So, excluding this part. So, I think we're talking about this part. How many? Five. No? Sabi na. Tama ba five? Korean and Japanese, but not French. Five. Korean and Japanese, but not French. Five. Tama, no? Next, we have... Uh, three are enrolled in Korean and French, but not Japanese. Three. Korean and French. Korean and French, but not Japanese. So, ito. So, there are three. Meron pa pa tayong pwedeng uh, wala na lang. Nagkuhan na natin yung 4. Itong, itong apat na bullets na to, I think, we've already uh, solved. Or we've already placed the numbers. Yung apat na bullets. Next, alin dito ang pwede nating isolve? Kung mapapansin nyo, uh, pwede nyo pag-isipan. I-post nyo muna yung video. Alin kayo pwede natin isolve sa? Okay, so na-post nyo na. Ang pinakamadaling isolve dyan is itong Korean kasi Meron tayong tatlo, no? So, ang ano na lang is ito. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung Korean dito, how many? How many are enrolled in Korean? 23, di ba? But, there are already, how many? This is 9, this is 5. 14. 14 na yun nandyan. So, 23 yung total. Nung no, minus na lang tayo, that's 9. Ito yung lalagay natin dito. No? Okay? Question, masusol ba natin yung Nandito yung sa French, for example. How many are taking French? Uh, 17 are enrolled in French. Ito yung French natin, di ba? 17. Meron na tayong 9. 17 minus 9. That's 8, no? So yung 8, hahatiin siya dito. Hindi mahatiin, but maybe there, there are some uh, students who are here and some students who are here. Pero wala tayong, wala tayong uh, way para malaman kung ilan. Ganon din dito yung Japanese at saka... In Japanese, there are how many? There are how many? 14, no? And, again, 14, ma-minus natin itong 11. 
So, ilan na lang. Tatlo na lang, pero hindi natin alam kung paano siya ilalagay. You know? So, kasi dalawang region siya. So, gagawin natin is to let the unknown region be x. No? Kasi hindi natin alam eh. Now, since ang French, makukuha na natin itong part na to. French, how many are there? 17. So, pag 17, itong French, ibabawas na natin itong tatlo na to. Di ba? Kasi ito na yung ang aalamin natin. So, 17, 17 minus 9, minus x. So, 17 yung buo, babawasin ko itong tatlong to. Minus 3, minus 6 is minus 9, minus x. So, this is equal to, ano 17 minus 9? That's 8, di ba? 8. Ito, 8 na yan. Tapos, mag minus x ako. Ibig sabihin itong part na to. This is 8 minus x. No? Ganun din sa kabila. Ilan yung Japanese natin? How many are Japanese? 14, no? So, there are 14 Japanese. Ibabawas ko rin tong, tong uh, tatlong to, no? Kasi ito yung Japanese, pero may tatlo na ako na may laman na. So, we have, I have 14 minus, uh, minus 6 minus 5 is minus 11. And then minus x. So, this becomes, this is 3, no? 3 minus x. Ito yun. Okay? So, na-fill out na natin lahat. Ano, ano na gagawin natin? Balikan natin yung problem. Notice that there are 37 students in a class. No? Ibig sabihin, pag in natin lahat to, no? kompleto na, di ba? Merong outside. Meron sa lahat ng mga regions dito. Pag in natin yan, ay ilan? 37 dapat, di ba? So, ilan na to? Una muna, unahin muna natin to. This is 9, this is 9, 18, 23, plus 4, 27. So, 27 na to, ito, tsaka ito. Okay, so that's 27 plus, ito i-add din natin itong part na to. Sana hindi tayong gamali, no? So, ilan to ulit? This is 14, this is 18, plus 9, 27, tama. Plus. So, 27 na lahat yan. 27. Itong part na to, plus ito, 27. Ito na lang i-add natin itong tatlong regions na to. Plus 8 minus x plus x, plus 3 minus x, equals 37 siya dapat. Okay? So, 27 plus 8, is 35. May plus tayo, so this is simply addition, no? Tapos yung minus x, saka plus x, pwede na yun makancel, di ba? Kasi magiging 0 na yan. So, may, ibig sabihin, may plus 3 pa tayo dito. Plus 3, minus x, equals 37. Meaning, 38. So, 38 minus x equals 37. Okay. Magiging equal to, ako, I have to, pag nag plus x ako dito, magiging 38 minus 37. Pag nag plus x ako, magiging 0. Pag plus x ako sa kabila. So, x equals, what is 38 minus 37? That's 1. Alam nyo nangyari dito? So, 38 minus x equals minus x plus 37. So, gusto ko yung x ihiwalay. Anyway, pwede ko naman, pwede ko naman i-minus, no? Minus 38 yung both sides. Magiging negative x equals 37 minus 38. So, I've subtracted 38 from both sides. Mawawala na ito. Magiging 0 na siya kasi 38 minus 38. Ito, 37 minus 38. This is equal to negative 1. So, negative x equals negative 1. Para wala na... Mawala yung negative ng x. We either divide both sides by 1 or multiply by 1. So, x equals negative 1 times negative 1, for example, is 1. Meaning, yung x natin ay, yung x natin ay 1. Ano yung 8 minus x natin dito? Ilan yan? 8 minus 1, syempre, this is 7. 3 minus x, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so, masagot na natin lahat ng tanong, no? I mean, nilagyan na natin ng numbers lahat ng mga regions, no? Okay? So, yeah. Tignan natin. Pwede na natin sagutin yung ano, no? Pwede na natin sagutin yung tanong. Okay? So, question number one. How many students are taking French only? 
Pag French only, siyempre yung French lang siya. Pwede ko ba burahin to para hindi siya magulo? Yan. So, French only, meaning, nandun siya sa, sa circle ng French, pero wala siya dun sa dalawang circle. I think obvious na 7, wala siya dito. Sa dalawang. So, pag French only, we have 7. The answer to this is 7. Hindi ko na yung gulay kasi may karugtong siya. Okay, so 7 yung sagot natin. Next, we have Japanese only. Ilan ang Japanese only? Okay, so nandun siya sa Japanese pero wala siya dun sa dalawang circles. So that's 2, no? There are 2. So, susunod din na tayo magkukulay kasi ito magkarugtong sila. Alright. Okay, so, yan. How many students are taking Japanese and Korean? Japanese and Korean, ano nga sabi natin pag and? Intersection, no? This is Japanese and this is Korean. So, ito yung intersection. Ilan? That's 11, no? That's 11. Pag and, yung sinasabi natin sa sa Venn diagram, saka sa sets, pag sinabi mong and, it's, it's the intersection of uh, both sets or in this case, yung sa uh, graphical representation natin, intersection of the two circles. How many students are taking French but not Korean? French but not Korean. French but not Korean. So, wala to. Kita nyo? Nandito siya sa loob minus this part. So, ang natira itong dalawa. 7 saka 1. Okay, so that's 8. How many students are... Oh, but bakit teaching? Supposed to be taking, sorry. Taking French and Japanese. Okay? Tulad ganina yung and French and Japanese. French and Japanese. Ito ang intersection nila. Yung part na to. Yun yung and. So that's 7. Next. How many students are either taking Japanese or Korean? Yun. Yung either or o kaya simply or. No? Ang, ang ibig sabihin naman yan is uh, yung nandun, it belongs to the two sets, no? as well as their intersection, no? So, any question natin? French, uh, Japanese, or Korean. So, pag or, kasama yung nasa Japanese, kasama yung nasa Korean, and kasama yung intersection nila. So, basically, ito siya, tsaka ito siya. So, 3 plus 11, 14 plus 12, 26. 12 plus 11, 23 plus 3, 26. So it's 26. Okay? So how many students are neither taking Korean or Japanese? So pag sinabi natin neither, not, not taking Korean, not taking Japanese. So neither nor not taking Korean. So tatanggalin natin to. Not taking Japanese. So, yung dalawang circles, tinanggal natin, ang natira 7. But also, there are 4 here who, who uh, do not take Japanese. So, kasama yan, 7 plus 4 is 11. Alright, so... Okay, so, that's it. Nasagot na natin yung mga tanong. Sana ay may natutunan kayo, no? Uh, practice lang kayo ng practice, no? Uh, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Ah, by the way, bago tayo mag-end. Invite ko kayo sa ating website sa sitnayan.com. Nandiyan yung ating mga listahan ng mga videos no, na sunod-sunod. So, mas maganda puntahan nyo yan. And kung gusto nyo naman mag-subscribe, no, para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos na pinapost, you can go to youtube.com slash user slash sitnayan.ph and facebook.com slash sitnayan.ph for if you want to follow us on Facebook. So, click nyo yung sa baba, no, ay click the like button para, no, uh, for your uh, kung nagustuhan nyo yung video no? maraming salamat sa yun in the next tutorial